What's up guys, we're back with another video. We're looking at Manitoba data from uh, from this week. It's updated February 16th, 2022. Um, in the last week, they somehow convinced 4,000 people to get the first dose, interesting enough. Um, as always, guys, we're gonna make fun of them a little bit just because uh, we know the data changed in late December there, but the categories, uh, it took a while for them to change this here. Population by vaccine status is what they're representing here, not the cases, but they still haven't, uh, taking away the subcategory. So they're still working on that, guys. Uh, it's been a couple months. Same thing goes by uh, with this stuff because um, this is the last six weeks of data. So these aren't the current data anymore, but in the sub content uh, here, obviously they didn't change that. So guys, we're gonna be looking at the information here. Um, this week, it looks like we've got uh, 60 new uh, cases in the hospital with uh, COVID. Uh, who had three doses in the last week uh, if you look at my old, last video it was uh 434 to, and uh, this uh zero dose was at 439 guys so uh we've seen uh the hospitalizations increase there a little bit in both categories um obviously we're i don't even need to say it anymore guys what what we're seeing there uh 38 doses of in the icu there uh, 78 for zero, 88 for two, uh, deaths is up to 70 here, uh, not 49, 89. Uh, we're just looking at the data here, guys. The weather of the week here is what I like to call this category. It doesn't make much sense to have this. Um, we've got to remind each other that uh, that's based off the population here, guys. So if I'm going to do the math again, I think I did this last week. Uh, we're just going to do it quick, guys. Uh, what is one... Point uh, three one four one four eight minus uh, the zero dose population one eighty three thousand one hundred and seventy one that equals one million one hundred and thirty thousand nine hundred and seventy seven that's uh, out of the eligible population that's people who have at least one dose here guys um, so how much does one eighty three fit uh, 183,171 fit into the remainder of the population. We're going to divide the the vaccinated population by the unvaccinated population here just to get the how many times uh, more people that are vaccinated than unvaccinated here just to uh, see if we can get a, a better understanding. Okay, so that's 6.17. 6.17 times more people are vaccinated in Manitoba then with zero doses. That's counting the one, two, and three, of course. And we're gonna go down here and see that uh, we're looking at this as based on the previous six weeks of data. Um, they're calculating the rates based on how many people are vaccinated, blah, blah, blah. Um, people who are not fully vaccinated are one times more likely to test positive with COVID-19. People who are not fully vaccinated are four times more likely to be hospitalized with COVID-19. People who are not vac fully vaccinated are seven times more likely to be admitted to an I intensive care unit with COVID-19. Uh, people who are not fully vaccinated are seven times more likely to die with COVID-19. Uh, if you guys are following what I'm saying here, um, there's not much more I can say, but you would think just, just as a layman uh, on the random guy on the street, you would think that uh, each of these categories would have to be at least 6.17 times uh, more likely uh, in order to uh, validate or be e at least even in terms of likelihoods to be, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You would think it would have to be at least 6.17, if not worse, times more likely. Uh, when they started this, guys, if you go back to my old videos, it was like 42 times more likely. So we're, that's why I call it the weather of the day, guys. It changes every day. And uh, now that's just every week because they only update this every week now, guys. So uh, with that, guys, we're going to take it easy. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, hey.